Nobody else is here. You're, you're supposed to come with a friend. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Well, you did get a plus one, and you didn't bring anybody. Yes. Well, I, well, I brought uh, seven here the last time. With That's the right. Eight. Yeah. Last time you were here was the cast of The Hateful Eight. Eight, yeah. actually, because it was the cast... And Quentin Tarantino. That's was here. that's right. And, and I and I can only do interviews with those guys, so they're in my pocket. Right yeah, now. I don't think that's you got to come on, speak at all during that interview. No, <laughs> no, no. One little snippet. Quentin Tarantino alone is enough for an interview. Never mind the whole yeah, cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But usually, like most of the things that come out of Quentin's mouth are much more interesting than anything that would come out of my mouth or, or the rest of us well, for that matter. So you we'll just, yeah, well, you'll be the judge at of that. And America will vote, and we will decide. <laughs> uh, your new show is Vice Principals. Yeah. This is you play. You and Danny McBride yeah. who play rival vice principals at a high school. Is this a real high school? Well, it, it is It is a real high school. I mean, we're, we're egomaniacs with inferiority complexes trying to be principal of a, of a high school, and it's, and it's pure McBride. I mean, it's this, this adolescent meets the sublime, and, and he's just a dangerous comedian. You know, he just kind of... I love him. He's edge. hilarious. He's, he's like unbelievable. The, like the Woody Allen for Flyover America, man. He's just a <laughs> special guy. And the principal at this school, well, the principal, the departing principal, is played by Bill Murray. Yeah. Which is, you know, I yeah, mean, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that when you work with Bill Murray, when you're acting in a comedy with Bill yeah. Murray, is that intimidating? Well, I mean, yeah, well, you just, like, for me, I just kind of turned the other way. I mean, I hid out in my trailer for the longest time when I first saw him because I just couldn't kind of deal with the fact that that was Bill Murray. Uh-huh. And then, uh, then we were on the set and we were kind of doing these scenes together and you're just looking at that face, that beautiful Bill Murray face. And, and, like, when it was on him and it was action was called, I just started laughing. And I couldn't, like... <laughs> No, I mean, that's the gopher. That's like, like, that's meatballs. Yeah. It's like all of it. There he does it have a thing, especially yeah. when he's serious, it makes you laugh. Yeah, and, and I, was, uh, I was just kind of consumed with laughter. And, and then, oh, like, like, literally two hours into the day, I said, hey, man, you know, how do you, how do you really do what you do? Uh, like, like, is there some secret? He said, yeah, by not laughing during another person's take. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no self. Don't do that. Did it stop then? It was that the end of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I this was shot in an actual high school in South Carolina, yeah, in, right? Yeah, in, in South Carolina, which was like, uh, uh, it was extremely traumatic for me. Why? I mean, it's, because it's like, like, high school is like a psychological fallujah for people. It's like riddled with post-traumatic stress disorder. It is, yeah. You haven't yeah. figured anything out yet. No, no, and, and you're so vulnerable and you're so susceptible to like people saying things about you and you're just kind of walking through in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a haze, really. And it's full of ghosts of all your past. And unlike like the workplace where the hierarchy is determined, you have to, you guys like kind of, you fight it out amongst yourselves when you're a student in high school. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, and I think, you know, it's kind of click dependent, right? Like, or like not being kind of in a click. Like for me, I was, uh, uh, I kind of fancied myself a friend of everyone, but I, I for my senior superlative, I was voted uh, uh, next to next, uh, second runner up for most friendliest. Most I didn't even get most friendliest. And you know what happened after I got that title? No. I became a. D oh, really? <laughs> I, I really, I became like the most angry? horrible person. Yeah, because it was like, man, I, I wasted all of that time like asking you about yourself. Uh, <laughs> you know what? No, Who man. Won no, no, most, no, no, no. What most friendliest? Dude, what kind of English program was at this school? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Who won? Who was the most friendly? You know, it was this guy named named Tracy, and 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 you oh, know what? And, he's and the worst. He's the worst. Yeah, yeah. And I think he really was the most friendliest. Oh, he was. It was just an act for me. Really. <laughs> for you, yeah. You were yeah. Pretending to be well, in yeah. a way, that's your first acting experience. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Do you right. keep in touch with the guys from high school? I, I do. Yeah. There was a a, a really like a, a, our clique, our group was called the the fellas. Oh, you know, that, that was our, yeah, we were the fellows. Like and, a and, gang. There was, and, and, and there was this uh, one particular time I was in uh, Mr. Bailey's class, right? Because uh -huh. I had a lot of nicknames in, in college. I mean, okay. in high school. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I did. All yeah, right. yeah. Like Walt, like Walton, Willie Walt, like all of these different things. And I was in this class, and, and, um, and I'm sitting there like two rows away from this woman that I was like madly in love with. I was so in love with this, with this girl. And, uh, and, and, and then I felt a sneeze coming on, you know? My, my best friend was sitting in front of me, one of the fellas. Yeah. And I felt a sneeze coming on, and I thought, well, I, I'm just gonna get this out. Like, it's not a problem. I can sneeze in front of 40 people. It's not a problem. And so I, I just did it. I just, I just sneezed. And, and as I sneezed, I, I also, I, I passed wind. I, oh, oh, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't think that anybody heard it. Like, like, no one heard that. Like, like, it's fine. This girl didn't hear that. I'm cool. My reputation is, is intact. And then my best friend, the other fella, Edwin, oh, just turned around and he said, you did not just do that. 
And I said, uh, no, no, no I, didn't, I don't even know the what you're talking about. He said, yes, you did. Your, yeah. Always. Yeah. And he said, yes, you did. <laughs> you, you, yes, you did. You snooted and you tooted. <laughs> what? You're, you're a snoot toot. That's what you are. <laughs> snoot toot? Yeah. It was, did it was he horrible. make that up? Yeah, on Is the spot. Is that a thing? He was on the spot. Oh, wow, yeah. he's a genius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a, he is a genius, right? Yeah. yeah, I hope he's gone on to run a major corporation. He, he has, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.